Hello everybody and in this week's tutorial we are going to be making this super cute baby bonnet. It is part of a set, I do have a cardigan and some little baby slippers to go with um, and each week I'm going to be um, releasing the video. So if you want to make this gorgeous little bonnet then keep watching. So for this tutorial, you are going to need your yarn. So I'm using Peter Pan Baby Cotton. Um, you'll need a stitch marker. It's not a necessity, but it does come in handy. And your corresponding yarn hook. So this is a four millimeter to go with my Peter Pan Baby Cotton. Now, once you've got all that you need to start making, we can get going. So to start your baby bonnet, you can either use the magic circle, which I do have a video for. I will link it in the card section. Or you can just chain four and crochet um, slip stitch into the first chain and it creates a circle. So once you've got your circle, just chain one. Now this pan is in UK terms. I will put the US alternative down below along the bottom here. So first of all, you want to work 10 trebles into this circle here. Oh, it's always, the first round is always really fiddly. So one, two, I'm just going to pop my stitch marker in my first stitch so I know where it is and I don't get confused with that chain one. Three, four, five, six. Let me just put this a bit tighter. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. And once you've got your ten stitches, you want to close up this magic circle and then we're just going to slip stitch wrong end <laughs> slip stitch into our very first stitch here where we had our stitch marker. Now you want to chain one and now we're going to increase our circle so we're going to do two trebles in each stitch around. So let me get some more yarn. So we're going to have 20 stitches in total. So into that first one So one, and try and work over the end of your magic circle. 
two. Three, four, I'm just going to pop my stitch marker into that first stitch there so I know where I am. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Oh, hang on. I was a bit ahead of myself. There we go, 20. And then we're just going to slip stitch into this first stitch here. And then just chain one. So that is what your bonnet should be looking like now. So we're going to move on to round three. So you've chained one. And this time we're going to do one treble in one stitch and two trebles in the next stitch. So we have one and then two in the next stitch, one, two, and I'm just going to pop my stitch marker and we're going to do that sequence all the way around. So one treble, one stitch and two trebles in the next stitch, one treble in one stitch and two trebles in the next stitch. So if you want to pause the video and do that all the way around until you reach um, back to your stitch marker and just slip stitch into this first stitch here. So I've just done my final two trebles in that last space and I'm just going to slip stitch. So now on this round you should have 30 stitches in total. Now what we're going to do this time, so you chain one, we're going to do treble in one stitch, treble in the next stitch, then two trebles into the next stitch. I should have pulled this yarn from the middle. <laughs> One, two. So one treble. one treble and then two trebles and we 
we're going to do that again all the way around. I didn't put my stitch marker in, but I know that my stitch is there. So we're going to do that all the way around until we reach here, and then we're going to join with a slip stitch. So if you want to pause the video, and I shall meet you back when you get to your first treble of this round. So I've just done my last two trebles into this stitch here and we're just going to join with a slip stitch. And now we're just going to do one more row of increasing. So you need to chain one. And then this time we're going to do one treble in each stitch three times. So one, two, three, and then we're going to do two trebles in the next stitch. One, two, and then one treble in the next three stitches. two trebles in the next stitch. So you want to continue that all the way around. So one treble into three stitches and then in your fourth stitch you want to do two trebles. So if you want to pause the video now and I shall meet you when you get back to here. So this is just my last double and then I'm just going to slip stitch into this stitch here and that's done our increases so what we're going to do now is just chain one so you should have 50 stitches in total and this is what your work should look like so we're just going to do oh I've just pulled it out <laughs> so typical me Yeah, so 50 stitches and we're just going to do a treble or a double if you're in the US into every stitch all the way around. So 50 stitches, one, two, just one in each of those trebles. So pause the video now and I shall see you when we get back to here and this is where the fun begins. So I am just coming up to a stitch number 50. Now we're not going to join it this time. What we're going to do is going to chain one. So this is what your piece should look like with your 50 stitches. So we just, I've just finished that last treble. We're going to chain one. And then we're going to turn. So what we're going to do now is do kind of the lace work of the bonnet. So in this stitch, very first stitch here, we're going to do one half treble crochet. So you want to yarn over, so it's a half double in the US. Grab your yarn and just pull it all the way through those three loops. Then we are going to skip two stitches. So we've worked into this one, we're going to skip two and into this stitch here, we're going to work two trebles. If you want the written pattern for this, it is on my blog, I will link it below. So we're doing two trebles 
all into the same stitch. So that's our two trebles. Then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then we're going to go back into this same stitch that we did our two trebles and we are going to slip stitch, she says. So the first rank is quite fiddly. This is what you should have. Then we're going to repeat that all the way around. So we're going to skip two and then into the next one, so one, two, into this third one here, we're going to do two trebles, one, two, then we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then we're going back down into that same stitch and we are doing a slip stitch and then repeat again so skip two two trebles one two then we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then we're going to slip stitch into that same stitch that our trebles are in. So you want to do that all the way around. And I shall meet you when we get back near the end. So if you want to pause the video and so we're doing skip two into the next one two trebles, chain three, and slip stitch all into the same stitch. So I've just got one more of my three, sorry, my two trebles. One. Hang on. One. Two, one, two, three, and I am slip stitching into there. Now in this last stitch here, you just want to do a normal treble. So this is what you should be left with. So then we're just going to chain one and we're going to turn our work. Now this time we're going to work into this space here from where we've chained three. So we're going to do exactly the same, but the slip stitch is just going to be in a different place. So you want to do two trebles into this chain three gap here next to your two trebles. So your two trebles go into there. So one, two. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch into this chain here. Sometimes this can be a bit fiddly. So there you see, I'm in on the top of that row of three chains. And I've slip stitched into it. And we're just gonna repeat that again. So again, in this space here, two trebles. One, and two, and 
we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and we're just going to work our slip stitch. If it's too, if your chain is too tight and you can't get your hook through, just slip stitch round it, it's fine. It's no drama. But if you can, just try and get it into there. And then we're going to move on to the next one. So you want to do that in each of these spaces around. So one, two, going to chain three, one, two, three, and slip stitch into the first chain. So if you want to pause the video and carry on with that pattern all the way around, so two trebles, chain three, and then slip stitch into this first chain here. And I shall meet you back when we get round to the end here. So I've just done my last chain three, and what I'm going to do is treble crochet into this last stitch here. Then we're going to chain one. And then we're going to turn, and this is what it should look like so far. And you're going to carry on doing exactly the same all the way around again. So one treble. That should not be a treble, that should be a half treble. I've just realised I've got trebles on my mind. Right, let me redo that. Half treble. Right, so two trebles, chain three, and then slip stitch. So we're just going to repeat that round. for another so sorry we're going to repeat that round another nine times until we get to round 17 so this is round nine and you want to repeat it until you get to round 17 and then when you get to round 17 and you just do that last half treble, just fasten your yarn off and I will come back and teach you how to do the strap. So I have just finished off my last round. I've made mine a little bit smaller just so I can show you how to do the strap. So this is what mine looks like with this straight edge. Here, let me just grab some scissors and I will cut it off. So I have like the world's biggest scissors. I'll just pull that through and tighten it off. So this is what mine looks like. I haven't done as many rounds as I said, just so I can show you how to do the strap. So the strap is really simple. You just want to start with a slip knot. And then we're just going to chain 45. One, two, three, four. So once you've chained your 
you want to grab your hat and your yarn. Get myself untangled. And you're just going to double crochet to attach this just right into that corner and then what we're going to do is we're going to work double crochet all along this bottom edge of the hat so we'll make sure you work your spaces out as evenly as you can So just double crochet all the way across here and then back here. And then when we've reached this corner here, we're going to chain another 45. So if you want to pause the video now and then meet me back when you've worked your double crochet or singles all across here, across here, and you've chained another 45 when you've reached this corner here. So as you can see, I have done my, there's my original chain. I've attached it. I've worked double crochet evenly as I can all the way across the bottom. So that's this bit here. And then I chained another 45. Now what you want to do is second chain from the hook. You just want to double crochet into every chain space all the way until you get up to here. Then another row of double crochet in this, the previous row of double crochets and then double crochet until you get to the end here and then tie your yarn off and your hat is finished. So pause the video and I'll meet you back when we get to this end here. So there we go, there is your baby bonnet. This is what your straps will look like. And this is the edging. If I lift the camera up, you can get a proper view of how pretty that is. It's really vintagey and lovely. So thanks for watching. Any questions, leave me um, a message in the comments below and I will try to answer them. Yeah, so next week I'm gonna make um, the little baby um, slippers and then the week after that I'm going to be doing the cardigan that all matches for this really cute vintage baby set. So don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also find me on my blog where the written pattern for this is and also on Instagram and of course Crochet Beginners Book, Crochet Beginners Book, Crochet Beginners Group on Facebook. So take care and happy crocheting.